Hi guys, okay, quick update for Bitcoin. It's been a while on the YouTube side of things. So just a couple of things from the outset. I've redeveloped my website. So shout out to the guy on Fiverr who did that. Thank you very much. Um, you can join the group if you like. We go through all of this, uh, paying crypto or you can pay on PayPal. Um, the newsletter, we're, we're in discussions with Wave618 um, to get that up and running at some point in the future, maybe next month, maybe the, the month after. So currently that's, that's sold out and Shopify store. Um, if you want to learn how to predict the future, um, how to know gold is going to go to 700, Bitcoin 20k and crash, Dow 40k and crash, S&P 5000 and crash, dollar to 88 and then 116. How to make all of these hero calls, just have a look, go press this link and everything's there. You can use Bitcoin U for a discount code. Um, and on Twitter, 5,000 followers, which I always find really funny, to be honest, because I am the one who predicted 20K. Let's not um, forget that. I mean, not that I need to prove myself, but here is a little snippet of the video, which I had to take down because Jim is uh, classed as a American national hero, you know, like Rihanna um, or Buster Rhymes. And um, they told me to take this video down. But let's just play this video. As you can see in the bottom right and corner 7th of the 12th let's just hear what i said all those months ago um and obviously they're using futures to just dump the price of bitcoin because it was due a, due a correction and i think it's going to go to 2000 but and i think it's going to go to 2000 fascinating so i do find that really funny how i only have 5000 followers but um but there you go so clearly very very wise people but yeah thank you very much for um for following um as you can see, I only follow 30 myself. And even then, it's just to keep my Twitter uh, feed entertaining. Um, I mean, I, I could easily rattle that down to maybe four or five. Um, and yeah, so it looks as though we're going to start a charity appeal for altcoins. So uh, Madonna, Bob Geldof, if you're listening, uh, please do get in touch at uh, I'm holding my altcoins to zero and I'm never going to sell at gmail.com and I'll be more than happy to set up a live uh, telethon because um, clearly some people don't quite understand uh, what's going on so um, yeah please do get in touch Bob I could do um, I could do with setting that one up okay so uh, that's the Shopify store and that's the um, Bitcoin um, <clears throat> That's, that's Bitcoin. Okay, so there's a BitMEX contract on the 28th. There's a CME contract on the 28th. There's a SIBO contract on the 19th. Um, we know futurely contracts are the most volatile. So March, so January, March, September, December. Uh, you don't really want to be getting involved in buying anything prior to those contracts dumping. So frankly, I think uh, it's very unwise to be... Um, in this market as of this current moment maybe at the end of the month there might be a good buying opportunity so we're running this wxy or a b c d e uh pattern you know i'll just make that a little bit larger so you guys can see it hopefully that's 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 clear i just put the wave on there hopefully that's all clear a b c d e so now we're going to come back down so um why would you want to be long here um Everyone's waiting for this level to break. Um, every time it hits a level, it gets weaker. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Once again, on the sixth touch, it appears to um, be ready. And there's a lot of sell volume which has come in. OBV is going down, which we know. Um, there's very small bull volume in. This is not convincing. So this is just the calm before the storm. So in the next couple of weeks, we are going to expect a move down, most likely. I can't see it hitting these sort of higher targets, unless it's a swing failure pattern, which is possible, I'm not completely ruled this out, where it swings it to, to the low side to around 53, 54, swings it back up again to 11, and then dumps it back down again. But I think that's very optimistic, although it is possible, because anything is possible. In the end, we are gonna end up at 3,000, but a good buying opportunity might come around after this dump there'll be a lot of capitulation um i'm not sure what the news is going to be because there, there will be some news here so maybe it's an etf thing maybe it's a uh wider geopolitical issue emerging markets i don't know but there needs to be some news here to really get the panic starting and i'm expecting it to settle at 52 48 42 now it could be so severe that 
it doesn't even hold at these levels. We know there's there is very very weak volume here, so it could just dump all the way down to 42. But either way, the next three weeks are going to be very very interesting for uh, Bitcoin. And if you have a look at the altcoins, um, so I've been calling this, you know, right. I mean, well, I, I mean, I told you guys on December the seventh this was going to happen. So. Um, uh, yeah, so 166 is the next support and then 110 and then on here I mean technically 94 has been broken already. So it's it's the next support on the altcoins at 60 So things are getting very cheap and I would agree with crypto AMD who's called for 60% on the dominance I would agree with that. I mean he's called for that even when it was 42. So um, he's well worth a follow on uh, Twitter as well definitely so um, I would agree with that I can't really argue with that that definitely seems the trend but there's no real sign of any altcoin rally as of this moment so um, definitely a lot of fireworks are going to be here now between now and uh, Christmas not just in crypto but in the wider market uh, especially with the midterm election so if we have a look at if we have a look at ETH BTC so really the level that everyone's waiting for is this level here which still hasn't been tested yet so we are still another 20 percent away there are lower targets at 15,000, but let's see what price does at this level and eth usd um i mean the next target is going to be 134 after 166 almost certainly that is going to get hit then we have to start projecting lower targets the negative 38 is going to be 100 so um but there's very strong support in this sort of region here in this region between 130 and 166 there's very good support so um, let's see how price reacts but definitely I don't want to be getting involved in that much selling that needs to just you know calm and start basing out like it did here and then we can have maybe a move back up to this rising trend line I'm not sure as of this moment but let's see um, so all the altcoins are going to fall. I mean, things like Litecoin, I've got going to 32. So it's nowhere near 53. If you, if you have a look at my Twitter feed, I pinned this tweet on August the 12th. I mean, I knew all of these targets uh, February the 12th, but I've only pinned it as of August. But those who have been following the wise man know I've had these targets for quite a while. So, um, you know, none of these targets have really been hit, to be honest. Um, I don't think any of them have been hit. I think Neo has been hit. Well, I mean, not even Neo. Neo fourteen point five. Yeah, Neo's not been hit. Litecoin hasn't been hit. Um, that's not been hit. So there's a very high likelihood um, of taking account the BTC one for one second, which I do still think is possible. All of these altcoin targets almost certainly are going to get hit. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's Bitcoin. So. Um, you know, Monday not much happened, so expect the volatility to uh, increase. Um, Thursday there's BOE, there's um, uh, ECB. So the Fib time zone I've done when it was here, um, that tells me that there's Fib time uh, support or a major low around the end of September. So in another couple of weeks we'll get. I think Bitcoin will be um, a very different price to what it is right now. So yeah, once again, just have a look at my Shopify store if you guys are interested in Fibonacci time. Use a discount code. I mean, everything's here for relatively cheap if you use a discount code. So it's it's you know if you want to predict things, then um, all the tools are there. You just gotta know where to look. And not follow people on Twitter who don't know what they're talking about, which is most of them to be honest. Um, so yeah, that's uh, very low volume. Doesn't look like a much of an attempt here for our bounce. Yeah, there's not much to say. It needs to go low. There's obviously no new buyers in this market. It's just manipulated, recycled money that's going back and forth. So um, next three weeks are going to bring fireworks. So uh, I'll wrap it up there. So good luck to whatever you're doing on the long side or the short side. Check out my Twitter. Um, check out the Shopify store and... Um, I'll leave it there and um, I don't want to play any more of this uh, video <laughs> because it's been taken down but um, yeah fascinating 7th of the 12th 2017 as you can see in the bottom right hand corner but also it's very clear with the um, with the price action what date that was so um, this will happen 
um, this will happen. Elliott Wave tells me that it's going to happen um, because it's wave two of the extension. So, yeah. Anyway, I'll I'll wrap it up there. Jim's a hero of mine. <laughs>